there. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm leaving. No, I am not leaving YouTube. I am leaving this home that my husband and I have lived in for the past 13 years. A home we have loved and had family events, friend events in. It's a little hard to leave this home, but we did find our ultimate home, I think. And it is a home in the same neighborhood, but it is on the water. And Alan and I have always kind of dreamed of living on a pond, I would say. It's not really a lake. It's not that large, but it is at least a good size water feature. We're very excited about that. And for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that I was on YouTube for the past eight years very consistently. Well, that's not true. Maybe about five years ago, I kind of hit a burnt out period and I was off for about six months. And quite honestly, I retired not too long ago, maybe about five or six months ago, and then about three months ago, no, two months ago, I hit burnt out. And I really did. I hit the wall in a lot of different ways, a lot of different things going on in my life. I have aging parents that I'm dealing with health issues with them, visiting them all the time. They are about to move into a very nice assisted living. My dad will be 90 this year. My mom is 88. They're moving into Rushwood Assisted Living here in Wichita, which is a brand new facility. It is wonderful. I'm so excited for them. It even has menu service in their restaurant and they get waited on and they get to choose what they want off the menu. It has activities. It is a wonderful place and they are going to be moving into that facility and Alan and I are very instrumental in getting them moved over there. And at the same time, Alan's mom, Darlene, she has been having some pretty extreme health problems and so I have been dealing with Darlene, helping her out really for the past two months. So very active, very busy with both sets of in-laws and outlaws, I guess. I don't know if outlaws is the right word. But if you also are dealing with helping your aging parents, please let me know so any tips you may have. That would be great. And also just a little information about what you're going through in your family. Also, Alan's brother had a heart attack. So it's all of these things. Also, there was one kind of mental health issue with YouTube, and that is that I used to work and do YouTube on the side until I retired maybe four months ago. And for the first month, month and a half after I retired, I was so happy just to be able to concentrate on YouTube. But then I kind of hit the wall because I realized that I was sitting in these four walls all day, every day, sometimes in the evening. I was lonely and I realized that I missed the people at work. I missed working. And so I have gone back to work part-time. Um, a lot of different things have been going on in my life. And let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see what will be a very chatty video because I have lots of information about what retirement is really like, both the joys and the pitfalls. And I also have some information about, you know, taking care of our parents as they age because I am definitely in the throes of that, which, you know, is an honor for me to take care of them, but it is almost a full-time job. It is a, an honor and a joy to take care of our parents as the age, but it also is quite challenging. And another thing that has happened in the midst of all this is that, as I mentioned earlier, Alan and I happen to find what we think is, is our dream house. We're very excited about it. It is on water, as we mentioned, and it all kind of came up out of the blue. Maybe about three Fridays ago, I happened to look at Realtor.com and a couple times a week, I always look at Realtor.com and look for a house on the water in the east part of Wichita because we live east. West has a lot of old sand pits, so they have big lakes, a lot of houses on big lakes, and that's great, but I live in east Wichita, so those homes on water are a bit harder to find. But anyway, three Fridays ago, I looked at Realtor.com and lo and behold, a house came up that is on my street even in my neighborhood. And so we were the first people to see this home. And here is a picture of it here. And it looks kind of similar to my home that I live in, but it is on water, which is nice. But anyway, it needs a heck of a lot of work, but I'll get into that later. But we put a bid on the house over the weekend. Somebody else put a bid on it as well. So we were in a bit of a bidding war, but on Monday it was announced that we had the house and we were so excited. And then we had to put this house on the market. Our offer was accepted on the new house on Monday. And then that Friday, you know, we, we cleaned up our house, got it ready to be shown from Monday through Thursday. Friday, we put it on the market. Saturday was the first day it was officially on the market. We had four different showings and two offers. 
And so we accepted one of those offers. So this has been a crazy thing of not even knowing we were in the market to move and then finding a house that we really wanted, getting it, and then selling this house in one day. So it feels like it's meant to be. I hope it is. And basically the new house, although I really love it, it has wood trim, which I really like white trim. So we're going to be changing a lot about this house. We're going to be having the wood trim painted to white. The kitchen cabinets will be painted. The bathroom will be remodeled. A lot of the granite is not to our liking. It's very gold and kind of old world. We'll be changing that out. And let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see some befores and afters and some of the progress we're making at the new house. And by the way, I have been taking a break from YouTube. I am definitely not leaving YouTube, but thank you for giving me this time to deal with my aging parents, to finish up with my health issues. I had several different procedures I had done, but I'm very healthy. Everything's going well. Um, but I've also gotten lax about doing my beauty things. And Alan looked at me yesterday and he said, Beth, you need to go and have your hair colored. You got a lot of gray going. And I do. Sorry about that. And I think my lip line looks funny. I don't know. So forgive me if I don't look my normal YouTube self because my life has been really crazy lately. Okay, so let's get into this video. And in this video, I will be showing you my home. Again, the home that Alan and I have lived in for 13 years. We have done a lot of redecorating. Every room is markedly different than it was when we moved in 13 years ago. I love gardening. I love home decor. And I felt like I wanted to give my house a video because I think it deserves that after supporting me and Alan and our friends and family for the past 13 years. So this is kind of a way to honor my home and I will miss it in a lot of ways because we had a lot of great times here. So let's start in the front yard and I'll show you everything about this house. Okay, here's a look at the outside of our home. We have lived here almost 15 years, 13 years, and it has changed a lot. I'll try to find you a picture of the outside the way it used to look. It used to have very orangey brownish stone on the front and very ugly brick, but we had the stone lime washed and if you'd like to see a video about that process and the before and afters there, I would love to show that to you. Just let me know in the comment section. But anyway, the idea was to make it look kind of like a charming little cottage, like an English cottage, something like that. In the springtime, which we're almost in spring, there are lots and lots of flowers in the front there. You can't really see them now because they haven't come out yet. And I just added this little shrub to match this guy so he still needs to grow a bit. But there is the entranceway with our little S, and the S will be coming with us to the new house. I'll show you that on the new house. I've just got some fake, fake shrubberies here and a little wreath on the door. It says, welcome. Had that for years, of course. But anyway, here we are. This is my home, and I'm sure you've seen this before. Let me shut the door here. But there is the living room like that, very comfortable place to sit. And then here is the dining room. And I love the curtains, I had those made. They're a little bit bold, maybe a little circus-like. Let me know in the comment section if they're too bold for you or if you might do something striped like that. But anyway, the new owners of this house that are purchasing this house, they allowed me to keep those curtains, which I was very happy about because they match everything I have. And that mirror, I got from Haverty's. It is still on sale in Haverty's, but it is gold there, gold and black. And I changed it. I spray painted it white. And there's kind of a look at how my table looked when the house was on sale. Now I'll take you in. Oh, I didn't turn this light on. Got a little niche there. And then I have a piece of kind of modern art there. And this is the master. And although the walls are beige, I did choose to go with the gray and the ivory color here. Those two wreaths are old and from Hobby Lobby. I really like them. I have one in my kitchen as well over the stove. And there's a little vignette, a little chair that we had reupholstered with a snuggle pillow on it. And this is our master bath. And we had this remodeled about nine months ago. And there's the little potty room. I won't take you there but we had the black granite installed and the black mirrors. And I love the frame because it has that little bit of a nickel accent on it, which matches the faucets. 
That was from Lowe's and unfortunately they don't have them anymore. I have the black lighting, wrought iron, and we do have a black shower and I have really enjoyed this. I've never had a glass shower like that. And there is Alan's vanity, a little place to sit there. And there is my vanity. Okay, let's head back through the, through the master and the living room. I guess they call it the primary bedroom now. These are Hobby Lobby pieces that I sprayed. I do a lot of spray painting, actually. And this is where we live most of the time. This is the great room area. That is where we have dinner. And there is a piece of granite on the top of this island that we added. The old one was quite gold looking. And so we painted all of the trim in here. It was a dark wood, but I really wanted to lighten it up a bit. We're actually going to use these same lights in the next house because I don't want to buy a bunch of new furniture. I just want to move into the house and uh, put our furniture in and let that be that. But that's where we have friends and family over. It's really a wonderful area because it seats like eight people. Okay, I just realized that I forgot to show you the laundry room and the powder bath and the garage. But anyway, I had my 66th birthday on Monday. It's now Wednesday, so that was really sweet. I actually got one more thing of flowers from work, which was great, but I walked in and Alan said, do you really need three flowers? Can we take one to my mom? So anyway, one of my flowers went to Alan's mom, which is, you know, which is great. But anyway, that was nice to get flowers for sure. So this is the back of the kitchen, and that was from Hobby Lobby. There's my coffee bar and my coffee. Yum, I can hardly wait. There's the back door to the garage. There is the laundry room, and we redid the granite. We redid the floors because they were very, very gold. Um, and then that is from Hobby Lobby. And I like this one, Stop Wishing, Start Doing. And uh, amazingly enough, I keep a towel on here because I use my steamer on top of this. Don't ever do that because look, it marred the top of my washer. And actually, I pulled a load of clothes out of the washer and let them sit up here. And they did that to the top of that. I'm not very happy about that, but you know, as long as I don't look at it, I'm okay. I'm funny like that. And this is the little powder bath, and I love this color. This is Sherwin-Williams Dovetail Gray. This vanity was existing in the house, but it was dark, kind of red wood. So we had that repainted white, added the black knobs, and added the black granite, added a little Amazon mirror, and everybody in America is using those round mirrors, but I think they're pretty cool. And those pictures were Hobby Lobby, I think. Okay, and let me show you what all the men loved when they, uh, when they toured our house and we could see it because when you have the ring, sometimes a couple of areas of the house, you can actually have videos of, there's my car. Um, but my husband loves cars and loves working in the garage. So we have built-ins cabinets. And um, there's his car over there. But all the men really seem to like the garage. It's funny, I could care less about a garage, but you know, that's what it is to be a man, is to love cars usually. And I just said something sexist. I know a lot of women love cars too. Now here is the basement. And I have kind of leopardy carpet that never shows dirt because it's brown and black already. I really like that, that's a good tip. There's the little bar area. We didn't do much to it. Got some new lights at Menards some artwork on the walls. Most of the artwork in the basement is from Home Goods, which it's kind of hit and miss, but it is a great place to find artwork. There is the family room area. We bought this sectional recently and it reclines. It is so much fun. I do like the navy shag rugs. That defines that area there. And then this area. And this one's important because there's a seam in the carpet right there. And so the navy kind of pulls the uh, focus away, which is great. And this is my exercise room. You've seen me do a lot of videos in here. I love this room. I'm here most mornings, I would say, at least five mornings a week. There's a look at that. And that says no excuses on it. And this morning, I had dealt with my aging mother-in-law last night about three o'clock in the morning. And so that was my excuse not to exercise this morning. I've been kind of bad lately. And here is the outside lower deck area. I guess it's a patio, and we did this maybe a year ago. Alan spends a lot of time out here. 
but isn't that pretty? There is a look at that area. And we had the concrete floor painted, so it looks like stone tiles, I guess. Got some teak furniture there, a little barbecue grill. There is a look at the outside, and we added the berms on the back and most of the trees, and we have good coverage, good blockage against the neighbors, which is just great. Okay, let's keep on going with the basement. And there's a little bathroom here. Did not paint the vanity white, probably would have preferred to. Got some new lighting, that kind of thing. So there's that. Again, some kind of modern artwork helps when your home is not all that modern. And there's Alan at work. Hi, baby. <laughs> he's a little shy, he's not going to say hi, but he's usually here or at pickleball or working. So there he is, just a little area back here. This is one guest room and there is that. I've just decorated it, you know, with easy Hobby Lobby type furniture and finds. And there is a wonderful tip in terms of moving. And that is to purchase these clear bags from Amazon. And I'm starting to pack up the insides of things and they're wonderful, they hold a lot and you can see what's in them. So it makes it a very easy way to move instead of packing a bunch of boxes. You still have boxes, but not as bad. And that's a good tip to make your showers look a little more elegant, to use a high shower curtain. It's easy to do. And then there is the most recent room that we redecorated. This room had been filled with my husband's boxes. He never met a box he didn't want to save because he sells a lot of his stuff on eBay. And so he likes to have the original box to keep that. So anyway, this did become a guest room. Okay, that was a look at our current home. And again, this is not our current home for very long. In another month, we'll be solidly into the other home. But how this is working is in about a week and a half, we'll be closing on our new house, but we don't close on this house, our current house that we live in now for a month. So that gives us a month to kind of slowly move our belongings from this house to that house. We will have movers for the big pieces, but to handle all of the fix up, Alan and I will be moving into the basement, which should be very fun because we have a tiling company, we have a wood floor company, we have a remodeling company, and they'll all be working in the upstairs while Alan and I live in the basement. They said it would be a lot easier for them to accomplish what they need to accomplish if we weren't underfoot and all of our furniture wasn't there. So that will be an interesting experience. So we'll live in the basement until the first floor is done. Then we'll have the movers move our furniture from the garage because we're moving all the first floor furniture from here over into the garage of the new house. They will move that furniture into the first floor. Once that's done, Al and I will move up there and they'll complete the basement. So I have a lot that's going to be going on in terms of getting us over to the new house and getting all of that construction work done. And again, if you'd like to share in that with me, I would be glad to make some videos about that. And like I mentioned, I am taking a break from YouTube now. And thank you so much for giving me that opportunity to take some time off because I really did kind of experience burnout. And again, if you'd like to see a more specific video about what I've been going through, and it is interesting because there's a lot of things that I didn't know about retirement. There are also a lot of things I didn't know about taking care of our aging parents. It is a wonderful privilege, of course, to take care of our parents, but it does come with its challenges, that's for sure. And basically that is the end of this video, but I'm so glad to be actually making a video for you again. I hope you've all been doing well. Please let me know in the comment section a little bit about what's been going on in your life in the last couple of months. A lot has been going on in mine, but whatever happens for either one of us, let's always remember that it's our attitude that makes our life either good or bad, and let's both work on our attitude to keep ourselves happy, healthy, and well. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.